this week to teach you some um, after work desk therapy. So last week or the week before we did some morning yoga which I thought would be really good for waking you up and getting you ready for work and this week I'm thinking that a lot of my clients come in and are um, suffering from back pain, hip, tight hips, tight hamstrings and tight shoulders, everything tight. Um, and hopefully today I'm thinking that we can open up a little bit and stretch it out, meaning that we get to enjoy our evening on the couch rather than feeling sore and stiff while um, watching Netflix and chilling. Um, so I'd like us to grab two blocks. Practice. So um, today we're going to get started in all fours. We'll start warming up straight away. I'd like you to start by um, warming up the wrists a little bit. So I've changed it up a little bit, you'll notice. I hope the lighting is okay, but I thought a little bit of change of scene and a little bit of a different angle. So we're going to start in all fours. I'd like you to stack your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. So just starting by making circles with the torso. So you're going to start making really small or really big circles or somewhere in between. So I like to do this really big, feeling into my lower back and my hips a little bit, maybe by starting to bend into your elbows as you really feel into the side body. If you're looking for more of an opening in the wrists, maybe just circling small around the wrists. And then starting to reverse the direction of the circle in the opposite way, doing again whatever feels good, trying to tune in with how the body is feeling today. Notice the quality of your breath, of your energy. These are two things that are going to determine the um, quality of your practice or um, how your body will move in your practice. Okay, so from here I'd like you to pause in a tabletop position and bring your fingers to point back toward your knees. So if this is too much, walk your knees in a little bit more. If you don't feel enough, walk your knees back a little bit. So inhaling here and as you exhale, you're going to sit the hips all the way back. Allow the wrists to peel away from the mat. Inhale, come forward. And as you exhale, shift it back. One last time. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, shift it back. This time, tuck your toes. Hold for three, two, one. From here, you're going to sit all the way back on your heels with your toes tucked. Bring the thumbs into the center of your palms and wrap the fingers over your thumbs and start to make circles with the wrists. Breathing deeply. And start to reverse the direction of the circle. Bring these circles with the wrists are just a distraction from the burning sensation in your feet. So you might start to feel this really quickly. Um, it's very, it's not very often that we would stretch out the feet. So it's a good way just to get the muscles of the feet working a little bit. Okay. So from here, bring the hands onto the thighs, close the eyes. Start to deepen your breath, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Notice if you're, if you're allowing that tension from the feet to travel all the way up. So if we have tightness in the muscles of the feet, it's going to travel up through your legs, into your hips, into your back. So a great way to start from the foundation of our body. Deepen the breath again. Keep inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And then slowly release. Come all the way forward. Okay, that will feel good. Maybe just tap the top of your toes to the mat. And we're going to find our way into a downward facing dog. So, I like to measure out hands underneath shoulders and tabletop. And then I walk my hands about a few inches or palms with distance forward. Tuck my toes. Lift my hips up and back. So from here... You're going to maybe pedal out the knees a little bit. Really nice. And then we're going to make those circles again with the hips. So little circles with the hips in your down dog. Maybe bending into one knee and then the other as you begin to make these little circles. When you look back at the feet, check that you cannot see your heels behind your toes. Reverse the direction of the circle. So your feet are parallel with each other. Checking with your hands that your middle fingers are parallel with each other and they're pointing toward the front of your mat. 
Pausing still in down dog, roll forward into plank. Shoulders over your wrist, round through your upper back. Strong through your quadriceps, so lift your quadriceps and drop your hips slightly so that there's a straight line from heels to hips to shoulders. We're going to make circles around the wrists. Okay, so trying to keep that strong plank, but circling. So building a little bit of heat here, starting to work the muscles of the forearms, the wrists, and then reverse the direction of the circle, shifting onto the tips of your toes as you lean forward. Really nice. Okay, and then downward facing dog, lift it up and back. Take a moment, inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale, maybe open the mouth and let it go with the side through the mouth. Okay, from here, you're going to inhale, float the right leg all the way up toward the sky. Exhale, look forward, bring the thigh toward the belly, bring your shoulders over the wrist, round, and then step the foot between your hands. Take your time. If you need to use the hand to bring the foot forward, do. Find your blocks. Now, some of us won't need blocks, but I'm going to demonstrate with the blocks throughout the class. So bring the blocks onto whatever level feels good for you here. Coming into a runner's lunge, and then we're going to straighten up the right leg. Now feel free to ground that back heel or keep the heel lifted, whatever feels best for you. I want your hips square, so just hug the right hip back, left hip forward. We're going to fold over the left leg. Inhale, lift your heart forward, lengthen. You're going to flex the right foot now. I'll show you here, and then exhale, fold again. Inhale, look up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, look up. Ground your right foot, bend forward into the right knee. Drop the left knee and come all the way up into a low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale to sink a little bit lower. So keeping that back toe tucked, so you're feeling this quite deeply in the left hip flexor. From here, we're going to bring the arms out in front. You're going to make a fist with your left hand and cup the right hand over that left fist. Pull your lower belly up and in. Inhale to lengthen up. As you exhale, bend into your right elbow and slightly bend to the right. So the left arm tries to stay quite straight. You're bending the right elbow and you're drawing it down towards the mat. Drop your tailbone down, engage your belly and feel this nice deep stretch through the left side of your torso. Bring it back to the center, release your hands. Inhale, stretch up tall. Exhale, release the hands to the mat. Once again, you're going to tuck the left toe, lift the knee, and from here, we're going to hop the back foot in. So I'd like you to straighten the right leg slightly, hop the left foot in, and come into pyramid. I'm just going to move slightly here on the mat. So, our feet are still in line with our hips. Our hands can be underneath the shoulders, whether that's to mat or to blocks. So set up your feet hip width, right foot points forward, left foot is at a slight angle pointing towards the left front corner of your mat. And the left heel is grounding. I want both legs really strong. You might need a micro bend in your right knee and your belly is active. We're going to swing the arms behind your back, either fists together or reach for opposite elbow with opposite hand. Hug your shoulder blades together, inhale flat back, exhale fold it forward. I'd like you to round in through the back. Squeeze the shoulders together, pull your lower belly in, and press down through the right big toe and the left heel on your mat. Breathe for three, two, and one. Release your hands, lift your gaze forward, inhale to a flat back, hips to stay square. And from here, we're going to come into a half split. So you're going to step the left foot back again, drop the left knee, come into a low lunge position, and then straighten up through the right leg. So I'm going to slide my right heel forward. We want our hips stacked over the left knee, our hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale to a flat back, exhale, fold. I'm going to get you again to round through the back here. Exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, look forward towards your, uh, the front of your mat. Exhale, rounding through the back, tuck the chin toward the chest. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the chest forward. One more time. Exhale to round. 
Inhale, look forward. Folding here, feel free to come down to the lower level, remove the blocks all together. Inhale, we're going to flex the foot. Exhale, we're going to point the toe. Inhale, flex the foot. Exhale, point the toe. Keep that lower belly hugging in. Inhale to flex. Exhale to point. And then from there, inhale, flex. Exhale, bend into the right knee. Come forward, maybe using blocks if you need. Tuck the left toe, lift the knee. We're going to hop into a standing split. So again, feel free to use the blocks. You're going to lift the weight into the right leg. You're folding. Hands are either to blocks or to mat. And I'd just like you to circle the left ankle in one direction. And then the other direction. And then step the left foot to meet the right at the front of your mat. You're going to step your feet wide, coming into a squat position. So, in your squat, if you don't have uh, very open hips, you might sit on a block. I'd like you to bring your elbows to the inside of your knees and bring your arms out wide. Lift the chest. We're going to hold it here. So feel free to either sit on the block if you want, you can bring the hands to prayer at the heart or bring the arms out wide, pressing the elbows into your knees. Feel free to sway from side to side. Or find stillness and center. Drop the sit bones down. Lift the chest. Okay, and then from there you can plant your hands. We're going to step it back into our downward facing dog. Moving through a vinyasa, inhale, shift it forward into plank, shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, lower to the belly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Lift the heart, elbows hugging back, legs engaged. Exhale, fold it back, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. So we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. We'll inhale, float the left leg up. Exhale, bring the thigh to the belly. Look forward, round through the upper back and step the left foot between the hands. Maybe finding your blocks here, coming into your runner's lunge position. So left knee is over left ankle. We're going to begin to straighten up through the left leg and perhaps grinding the back heel or keeping the back heel lifted. Whatever feels good, just hips are square. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, exhale flexing the left foot, and fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, lunge into the left knee, drop your right knee and come up into a low lunge, but keep those back toes tucked. So arms are overhead, lunge down deeply, so sink your hips forward and down without collapsing into the back. So you want to pull the belly up and in, drop your tailbone and press down to your feet. Bring your arms stretched out in front and make a fist with your right hand. Bring the left hand to cup over your right fist, stretch the arms up overhead. Press down through the feet, inhale. Exhale, bending into the left elbow and bend slightly to the left. This doesn't have to be a big movement, just a subtle bend, dropping your tailbone, feeling that deep stretch through your side body for five, Breathe for four, three, two, one. Back to center. Use your core to lift back up. Release the hands. Bring your hands all the way back down to the mat. And we're going to tuck the back toe, lift the knee, and straighten the left leg once again. So from here, I'd like you to hop the back foot in. And you're going to ground the back heel, coming into your pyramid position. So legs are straight, maybe a micro bend in the front knee and hands are directly underneath the shoulders, either to the blocks or to the mat. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold in. Really nice. So from here, you're going to bring the hands behind your back, either making fists with the hand or reaching for opposite elbow with opposite hand. Folding here for five. Lift your elbows strong through the back leg for through four. Sorry, I can't count today. Three, pull your lower belly in, activate through your pelvic floor for two, one, and look forward, release the hands to the blocks, really nice. 
From here, you're going to hop the right foot all the way toward the back of the mat again. Lunge into the left knee, drop the right knee, and fold over the left leg. So shift your hips back. Again, I'm going to slide my left heel forward a little bit, just so that my hips are stacked over the right knee. So this will, um, this distance between the ankle and the, the knee will differ for everyone. Okay, so tune into your own body. Hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale to lengthen up. Exhale to fold. Again, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale to fold, rounding slightly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And round, tuck the chin in towards your chest. I'd like you to feel this stretch through the back of the neck. And then looking forward, inhale. Flex the butt, exhale, point to the toe. Again, inhale, flex the butt. Exhale, point the toe. Last time, inhale, flex, exhale, point, okay, flex the butt, and then from there, lunging into the left knee, we're going to walk the blocks forward, tuck the right toe, lift the knee, now I'm going to just step this left leg back a little bit, we're going to shift the weight into the left leg, and folding over the left leg into a variation of your standing split, and just circle the right ankle. So we're not really focusing on the standing split. I just want you to bring a circle into the ankle. Opposite way. And then release the right foot to meet the left. At the front of your mat. We're going to come back into that squat position. So you can bring your blocks out to one side. Sit down nice and low. Elbows to inner knees. Lift your heart. Sit your bum down. Lift up through your pelvic floor. Find some stillness. Really nice. Another three deep breaths. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale, sink your hips a little bit lower. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, sink last. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale to sink into the hips. Bring your hands to the mat. Lift your hips all the way up and walk your feet to hip width distance on the mat. We're going to come into Padahastasana, Gorilla Pose. If this isn't available for you, you can bring the hands behind your calves or ankles, wrapping your arms behind your legs. If you can, you're going to step the right foot or the right hand underneath the right foot. So you're stepping on the palm of the hand. And then the same with the left. Okay. So feet are about hip width distance. You can measure that out. It's about two fifths between the feet. And then folding. Lean the weight into your toes as you lift your hips and feel that deep stretch in the back of the legs. Allow your shoulders to come away from your ears. Pull your lower belly in and lift up through the kneecaps as you engage your quadriceps. Maybe you bend the knees a little or a lot here, depending on how open you are in the hamstrings. Don't forget about the breath. If you have lost that connection to your breath or it's compromised, maybe you're pushing the body a little bit too much. Always lead with your breath. From here, you're going to inhale, look forward, release the hands from underneath the feet. And this time, if you can, we're going to do that again, but with palms face down. So like you were circling your fingers toward the outside of your mat, you're going to bring the thumb to point toward the outside of the mat and step the palm down and step onto the knuckle side of your hand. Same with the left hand, circle the thumb outward so anti-clockwise, and then you're going to step onto the knuckle side of the hand once again. Okay, so here again you're pressing down through the wrists, lifting the kneecaps, engaging your quads, and breathe. Bend the knees as much as you need for this pose. And then look up. Release the hands slowly. Keep the feet about hip width distance on your mat. A little bend in your knees and reach the arms behind you. Interlace the fingers, reach up and back over the head. If you can't do this, you can hold a belt or a yoga strap instead. But for now, interlace the fingers, pull your lower belly in and folding over the thighs. Again, that little micro bend in both knees as you lift your hips. From here, I'd like you to straighten up through the right leg, bend the left knee, 
and look over the right shoulder. Back to center, and bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, and look over the left shoulder. One more time, back through center, bend the left knee, look over the right shoulder, and back to center, bend the right knee, look over the left shoulder. And release, back to center, release the arms all the way down, we'll move through a vinyasa. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins, lengthen the gaze forward, exhale, plant the hands, step both feet back into plank. Inhale in your plank, exhale to lower to the belly. Hug your elbows to your ribs as you come all the way down. Untuck the toes, point the toes. Inhale, lift the heart as you engage your quads. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, so from your downward facing dog, we're going to bring the right ankle flexed to the top of the left thigh. You're going to bend into the left knee and you're going to begin to pulse your hips back. So this is like a half pigeon position. Right foot is flexed, the ankle is on the left knee, and the right knee is out wide. Okay, so you're pulsing back, forward for five, four, three, two, one. Hold with that left knee bent, reach your bum back in space for five, four, press down through your thumb and your index finger, three, two, one, release the foot, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, exhale, let go through the mouth. Opposite sides, bend the left knee, bring the left ankle to the right knee. You might need to use your right hand to do that. You can also bend the right knee to the mat as you do that and manually with your hands. Okay, so from here again, I'd like you to start to pulse, bending into the right knee and straightening it as you bend or reach your hips. Forward and back for five, four. Make sure that left ankle is fully flexed. Three, two, bend into the right knee, hold for five. Press down through the inner side of your hands. Four, three, two, one. Straighten both legs, downward facing dog, really nice. Drop your knees, we're going to come to a forward fold seated position. So you're going to swing the legs out in front. Really nice. So from here, sitting up nice and tall, you're going to bring the right ankle crossing over the left. If you need to bend your knees in forward fold, please do. Um, best that you bend the knees rather than have that rounding in the back. So sitting up tall through the spine, Cross your right ankle over your left. Inhale to sit up tall. Exhale, folding forward. I'd like us to round slightly to our upper back here. So tuck the chin toward your chest. Bringing maybe your forehead to your knee or maybe you're all the way with hands either side of the um, calves, but still just rounding through your upper back slightly, finding that nice softening through the back of the neck. Look forward, inhale, and release, exhale. Switch it out, left ankle over right. Remember you can bend your knees, inhale, lengthen up. Exhale to fold it forward. Hands either side of your calf. Tuck your chin and just round through your upper back. Space between the shoulders. Pressing the backs of the legs down toward the mat. Breathing deeply into the entire back body. And inhale, look forward. Exhale, release all the way up. Coming onto the back. So we're going to shift the bum forward. We're going to bring a block with us. Come all the way down onto your back with control. You're going to lie all the way down. Walk the feet all the way in towards your hips or your bum. And then you're going to tuck the tailbone, lift your hips and place the block underneath the back. Now, for some of us, we'll be on the lower side of the block. We're coming into a restorative bridge. Important that your feet are hip width distance, parallel with each other. So the toes are not pointing out, the toes are pointing toward the front of your mat. Find support on the sacral area. So that flat part of the lower back, tuck the chin toward the chest, 
And remember, you can be on the medium side of your block here if that's more comfortable for you. Okay, if you're trying to get up onto the highest level, I like to lift my heels as I come all the way up. Just a little bit safer for the back. Um, more accessible, tucking the tailbone. So once you have a nice comfortable position on your block, you bring the arms by the side of your body, taking a few breaths here, just to walk the shoulders underneath the back. And from here, I'd like you to interlace the fingers underneath. Press down through the backs of the arms. Knuckle to knuckle grip. Three for five. Four, pressing down through all four corners of your feet. Three, big toe mound, baby toe mound, and outer and inner edges of your heels. Two, one. Release the grip of your fingers. You're going to walk the right foot in towards you until you can maybe grab the right foot. You're going to tuck the toenail side of your foot underneath. Okay, so what we want here is a nice foot stretch for the front of the foot. The right knee is not going out wide or winging out. It is hugging in hip width, so in line with your right hip. This will feel quite strange and maybe a little bit uncomfortable for your right foot. Try to breathe through it. Unless you are feeling pain, come away from that. Soften your glutes, relax the jaw, breathe in here for five. You can keep that right hand to the foot for four. If you want, you could bring a blanket or a pillow underneath the right toes if it's too much. Three, two, one. Use the right hand to untuck the toe and bring the sole of the right foot to the mat. Walk the left foot in towards your left hand. Grab the ankle or the foot and tuck the left toes underneath. Same again on this side. Keep your hips nice and square. You can even check in with your hands if the hips are still square. Arms by the side. Body breathe for five. Feel that nice stretch in the left quad, the left hip flexor and the top of the left foot for four. Chin stays tucked toward the center of your chest for three. Breathe deeply into your front, front body for two. One, and release the left foot. Really nice. If you're on the highest level of the blocks, again, I like to come onto the tips of the toes, tuck your tailbone, lift the bum away from the block, and remove the block. Come all the way down slowly. Okay, so from here, you're going to walk your feet as wide as your mat. Really nice, and bring both knees to the left. So inhale at the top, exhale, bring your knees to the left, and bring your arms out into a T-shaped position. Look to the right, twisting. Allow the entire body to be heavy. Beginning to allow the effects of your practice to sink into the body, physically, mentally, Maybe notice a little bit more connection to yourself after taking time for yourself on your yoga mat today. Bringing your knees back to center and windmill them to the right, look to the left, arms either out wide or you can bring them overhead, reaching for opposite elbow with opposite hand or just holding opposite wrist with opposite hand. Feel that gentle release for the lower back, that twist in the belly, for the digestive organs. Deep belly breaths. And bringing it back to center, we're going to find our way into our Shavasana. The favorite, my favorite and the best part of class, extending your legs along, bring the ankles nice and wide, Bring your arms by the side body, walk the shoulder blades in underneath the back, and beginning to let go. If you have a blanket or maybe an eye pillow to keep yourself nice and cozy, to keep yourself nice and connected, keeping the awareness internal, gently close the eyes, and take time here to fully let go, allow stillness to move through the entire body. Perhaps scanning your body mentally from the soles of your feet to ankles to knees. 
from knees to hips. Find softness between your hips and your navel, your navel and your heart. Space between heart and throat, throat and third eye at the center of your brow. And from your brow to the crown of your head, watch the stillness move over the body. Accept that you have done enough and that you have nowhere else to be but here in this moment on your mat. I would always advise to pause the video maybe for five or ten minutes here while you enjoy your Shavasana and then pressing play whenever you're ready. We'll come all the way up to seated. Bring your feet in towards your bum. Roll over onto the right side of your body, pressing into the left hand, coming from a fetal position all the way up to seated. Try to keep the eyes closed if possible. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to your knees. Stacking your shoulders over your hips, feel free to sit on a block. And starting to deepen the inhale and exhale once again through the nose. With eyes closed, perhaps bringing your focus to the tip of your nose or to the third eye at the center of your brow. Feeling the energy you have created by simply moving with your breath. Thank you again for following and watching. Namaste.